I'm live here, right, enjoying myself as usual. And I tell you what, happy Friday, everyone. And today, I thought, enjoy the trimmer, is it? <laughs> Martin Koyabe, welcome to my Friday. Abarigani, eh? Leo ni kukata nyasi angalia hii maneno. Eh? Unaonaje hii maneno msuri? Eh? Mm. Hakuna hii mambo ya kuchoka choka hapa. Sharif Abdullah Karibu, welcome. <coughs> Taking a break and just enjoying this uh, <laughs> you want to see my face? <laughs> All right, African Wonder Woman. Enjoy your aft afternoon and enjoy yourself. Yeah. The mower does most of the cutting, so you just go into the house and uh, the mower moves. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you later that question where am I I'm not telling you where I am I'm just here enjoying to look at this mower eh? it knows it knows where to cut and it just goes around and uh, there you see so it knows it reach, it's reached and then it turns it goes round and round It knows when it reaches a hitch or anything. No, no one is controlling it. You just switch it on and uh, it decides to go and cut anywhere it feels like. And just continues and... Karibu, karibu, karibu. Nita kupigia simu. Nipatia about uh, dakika ishirini. Nita tembea hapa. Alafu nita kupigia. But simu yako haifanyi kazi kwa yabe. So, lazima mtu wakupigia na internet. So, what a wonderful tool to have. <laughs> Kenyan style. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say now mr dr koyabe you stop that you stop that mm -hmm. when you see this field would you cope how long would you eh how long would it take you to cut kenyan style like that eh that is why i'm saying this lovely machine <laughs> more huh? Eh, you just go and have your breakfast and uh, uh, and come and look what has been happening and things are good. Eh? Unaonaje hiyo maneno? Koyabe, Dr. Koyabe. Sharif. David, thank you. Tonyamaka princess warrior Tonyamaka. Tony Amaka, hey, Africa needs this, so oh. I'm telling you, Africa needs this, so oh. <laughs> I've seen it before somewhere, and so today I've decided to take a break and um, look at it, <coughs> just um, demonstrate what we are missing sometimes, and I'm going to walk down the uh, place, and so when Dr. Koyabe is asking me why am I not doing it, Kenyan style. No farmer, let me tell you the truth, no farmer would manage because remember here there is not many people around who live around here so you would need to think about technology and it goes round and round the whole place and it cuts, you know, it cuts. So initially they used to have farm, maybe you hire somebody but can you imagine if you had a field and uh, a big uh, space um, garden and everything and you know grass grows everywhere so that is why this kind of technology comes in so you can see the field right at the back down there so when someone says to you oh go and cut and do it 
our way back home is quite a hard task and so they have little machines like this you can see there's another one there there's two but the other one is not working so they they just have um, yeah so anyway i just thought i'll do that uh, um i'll just do this little walk and watch it so welcome to my world yes it has yes it has it is grass is grass and they've got different blades so grass is grass that's what i've learned they've got i'm not too sure whether this is where the power but maybe in africa we have to think about the infrastructure as well i'm going to ask that question later on whether the power is coming from home and how that i'm i'm going to ask hold on uh yeah maybe i don't know but look um that's the other one over here so you can see so uh, but that's not being powered so it's just this one you can see it just walks around and it just goes around so when you come in and you see that the grass is low and everything you can see so enjoy yourself happy happy uh, look at that let's see whether it will know let's see whether it's gonna know oh wow it sensed there's a tree there can you see it sensed that um, so yes but there you go I love um, bringing you on to different things every day and uh, where am I I shall tell you later don't worry I'll tell you later thank you so much for all the questions uh, do I need a remote control no Tonyamaka you don't even have to be here you just go inside the house and uh, you switch it on here it is it just passes me and uh, it just goes round as you can see so it's already been set so you just uh, and it knows its little brother over there so um, it just moves so I'm going back to the house because it's getting windy but I just thought oh yeah so okay oh yeah that's the other thing you can see there's grass there's flowers that has been planted over there and it knows not to go there it senses because there's flowers over there so it just only cuts the grass and nothing else but you can see there was flowers over here and it touched that it's literally touched that and it decided no i'm not gonna go and cut that that's um because that's one of the fears that somebody would have oh what if it goes and cuts all the flowers no so it's an interesting little mower it's a very interesting little mower. but there you go so i thought let me bring that in and i'm going to go and wear my uh it's quite windy and i'm gonna go and wear my welly boots and uh and uh, you can see it's quite windy so i thought let me just quickly bring you here and show you oh another thing another technology this is really interesting now look at this one here so this is how they charge their cars so from this little window over here can you see little old window i've got a story for it don't ask me to show you inside there but there you are so i'm gonna go just in case and so they power you can see from there you just power the car so it uses solar power the car uses solar so they're quite energy efficient here now um it does have diesel for emergency so the car also uses diesel but most of the time just solar so transferring solar to the car and you do it from home so uh okay vincent um i'll tell you more about it uh when i uh, i'll tell you more about it i mean can i'm in the rural side so i'll tell you more about that one uh when i'm in london again i'll let you know um yeah so i'm here let me just talk, walk you around oh yeah i was telling you about this uh, sorry i was telling you more about this so now fueling so come back last night and you just leave it there by the time you come back you slept and um, the car is hard solar is recharged using solar yeah so it's quite interesting technology over there so you imagine how much more 
can happen in Africa. Uh, when we keep complaining about this diesel and problems of, uh, uh, I don't know what, but if the infrastructure again was right and there was electricity everywhere in the house, this is the kind of uh, things we would be thinking about. We will get here, so you understand why I really love my, and thank you to Chelsea who gave me that present. I love it, love it, love it. So this is, you can see, so I'm gonna come down and do my, my thing. So you imagine, so you bring this kind of mower machine in all this field and you just leave it there. So that is how they are able to maintain sometimes this kind of places. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a big, large farm. I can't even walk it. The other day I tried, if you go to my Facebook, I did try and tell this story, but I'm not walking it up there because I'm not dressed warm right now. So, yeah. Eh? The questions are coming in. Um, how do you empty it? That's, you don't have, I didn't see any empty thing, uh, to, uh, Warrior Tony Amaka. It just cuts. And uh, I'll ask that question later on. I'll ask, so I'm coming back. So, yes. Uh, but it reminds me of my childhood, which is, uh, would remind many of us. But amazing views here. Uh, Princess Tonya Maka, around July, I'm hoping to hopefully, when it's warmer, bring everybody so we can see such things. Um, making a proposal for it. It's not easy. Um, they're used to a very quiet life and... Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> we are used to good, quiet life, and it's not that straightforward. But anyway, here you go. Uh, it's very, very interesting. Uh, uh, when I say interesting, I mean that. But loving, so yeah. Uh, question again. You need one for the for the primary and secondary school. Okay, thank you. Okay, what's this here? Water. You remember? Eh? It's a pump for the water, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Showing around. Okay. So this is how you got the water. Do you remember borehole? So it goes right into the house, yeah? And then it goes for the dairy. Yeah. Okay, come. Come, let me see. There are one question coming out. Um, I just decided to share it. I know you said. You, 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 you allowed me to share today. So what I'm asking is somebody is asking me, does the mower need to be emptied? No, the mower is a rotary mower and it goes, where it is now is where its charging point is. So when the battery gets three quarters low, it goes back home and charges itself up. It only has a very small razor blade, but because it's cutting all the time, it doesn't need a big blade and it and it's only very small bits of grass that gets cut that just disappear into the ground no oh. no no catching at all okay but is it a good you know like uh, the grass because somebody was also asking me uh, and i did answer that earlier on saying because it just cuts grass does it have different blades uh, it's got different heights but it, okay, that's what I mean. different heights, yeah. it doesn't need it because it, all the t every time it's cutting it yeah but it's here but in africa okay say for example you are in kenya and is it the different heights that controls the how it you know it was happening is it able to cut it across the well you may have to cut it with a machine a, a, a petrol bar first but once it's cut and once you get it going 24 7 mm -hmm. It never get, the grass never gets very high and very expensive again. Oh, got you. Okay. So you've got your answers there. Vincent, thank you so much. That's the answer there. Uh, so it doesn't need empty. So thank you so much, Tonya Maka says. This is beautiful. Um, may God punish poverty. Uh, yes, and I think we should add there and say ignorance. Ama supports the farm and grass will be cut the Kenyan way. Oh yes, uh, Koyabe says that uh, we keep farm animals, so we get the goats and the goats keeps uh, <laughs> our grass. <laughs> yes, um, but how many people have got goats and sheep these days and cuckoos and everything? So this question I put back. Sharif, many thanks for all of you. Right, I'm going to go indoors. I'm getting now cold. And um, thank you so much for coming in. Have a lovely, wonderful um, um, weekend as well. And I'm having my lovely weekend, as you can see.
so i'm going to enjoy myself and oh look at how i open i get to open these days so yes so people are always asking and i'll have a cup of tea i'll have my cup of tea here i'll have a cup of tea now yes very traditional so this is sometimes how i love to enjoy myself yes and uh, just have a lovely weekend everyone and um yes july definitely by his grace if not july maybe next year working on a proposal to bring you here and um thank you so much for everybody who's been supportive and just said uh, please welcome us to say uh it's not easy to think through the process because one of the things i'm um if in okay i'll tell you so for instance um you only allow 28 days in the farmhouse to um bring tents and camps 28 days in a year um so this is also something that people wouldn't realize so 28 days and if you're trying to earn money um as an income to bring people in it has to be sustainable so one of the things that sometimes you see that um people um refuse to bring people especially when it's our people if you ask them to sort of like um contribute something to come in and live here they don't want to and yet it's taking a day of a wage so it 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 becomes unsustainable and that is why you see sometimes farmers um are quite um um they refuse to bring anyone who is not offering anything to come in and because you have to live and pay the bills as you can see the houses need uh warming i'll show you the fireplace in a minute right the fire is just been set um yeah so i'll show you the fireplace in a minute but i'll send a photo because i like to keep the privacy sometimes in the living room so i'll send a photo but if you go in you'll see these uh it's quite interesting here so um, Mm. you've got it all um compare it with some um, city life both of them are good and uh questions are coming in thank you so much sorry i'm not able to um answer all the questions sorry i'm just trying to read the questions our oh, kettle is on the kettle is here Solar, solar powered as well so it's solar powered i'm cold my hands are just cold and i really wanted to show you that and yesterday if you went in you will have seen the ships which i was running to feed and everything so um uh, kariboni welcome um and um can you hear that sound <laughs> um oh so sometimes farmers will complain there's no space in the kitchen because um you've got many doors in the kitchen so um you see you can see how many doors 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you can't really anyway that's another story for another day uh what should we talk about someone is asking me when do i plan to bring people here i've already answered that um I was thinking maybe when it's warm, a little bit warm, uh July tends to be warm. Um but also that would depend with the dates and um if there's no bookings, usually there's wedding bookings and stuff like that. So if there's no booking then that is um a good time to come in. Uh, I was hoping for a camp, but that's not possible because we've used up all the um so it's probably for camping next year. but just for a days visitors day and perhaps we could arrange that so yeah we'll talk about that <coughs> anyway so um how do you empty it it doesn't need emptying does it the mower does it need emptying no, no, it just cuts it, it, it never has never needs emptying because the grass is always short when it's cut aha uh-huh. so it doesn't need emptying Um Stephen Kigwa welcome Helen Hatim welcome um women change makers and of course Professor Imafidon you've missed that I'll have to do that for you again 
uh, you were talking of uh, here, Dave. I need to show Professor the mower here. Hold this for me. Hold it there. Just hold it there. It's just on one side there. Um, professor needs to see the mower. No, don't show them the car. I don't want to show them there. Just hold it there. Hold it there. I love my privacy sometimes. But I just thought I have to show them that mower. It's so well, I need to show Professor that mower because he talks about learning and one minute just one minute oh that was lovely english lunch all right let me show professor right you make the tea i'm coming two minutes one minute right i'm gonna put my african drum in the garden as well it needs a space in the garden so i've carried my oh can you hear that sound? The kettle is getting hot. So that will normally tell me, there is my... Listen. Thank you. And I've got a sweet tooth, I'm coming. Right, one minute. One minute, mind, I'm in the garden. I'm just putting the sign there, I'm in the garden. So, I'm coming. Right, Professor, this you must see. I've just had to go outside for you again. I'd already shown the others. So look at this, Professor, when you're teaching the children to be creative. And look at this lovely, I know you know about it, but it's just a little impressive. More than impressive. Look at that, Professor. None of that hard work, Professor. I know you like all these things. So I just went in there to show you and those who've joined in, Comfort, Timothy. Um, Professor, yes, thank you so much for coming in and joining us. Um, <laughs> look, look. It's sensed. Right, where is my little drum? Here it is. Here's my little drum. It's going in that garden. Huh? Oh, yeah, you were asking me the motor here. Okay, look at that. So that's the blade. So and then it it will cut it. Okay, there it is. It's been stopped, so you can stop it as well. So that was a demonstration. Okay, then it will sense once, and then you just start. There you are. All right, start it. You just power it. There you go. Upside down. Upside down. You can see. It knows it was so upside it down. So it knows it was upside down. <laughs> the little machine knows it was upside down. <laughs> okay, my drum. My African little drum. I'm finding it space, but I don't want it to be rained on. So just to show you what I get up to sometimes. Aha! Uh -huh. Now understand. That is my grandmother who gave me that. It looks nice in the farm. Uh -huh. But I'll show you something else as well. So, yeah, it's not raining, so I'll dry it. You see? You see, you see, you see. Ha ha! African drum. I think it needs a nice space. So, what do I get up to? Yes, this is what I get up to. Has it started? Oh, yeah, it's starting. There you go now. It will carry on. For how long does it need to go on? All day long, All when the battery gets low, it goes back to its battery charger, sits there till it's fully charged and then goes and does its work again. It works on little and often. Okay, so it's just battery recharge. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> there you are. Right, my cup of tea now, please. I'm going for a cup of tea. So thank you, Chris um, and uh, uh, Pro. I just thought I'll bring you back to that. And um, I'm back. And then... Um, I've, so when you see me bringing these African things from back home sometimes, then you understand why. Right. Enjoy.
<laughs> enjoy. Somebody said to enjoy. And you too. Have a lovely weekend. Right, I brought it back. I brought it back. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, Steven Kigwa, um, lovely to see you and thank you so much for the inspiration and mentorship that you give to um, people. I have followed some of your um, things that you speak about um, for the youth. So, and of course, Helena team, thank you for the programs that you also do. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, so um Catherine Gila Karibusana uh, welcome as well. So what am I gonna talk about today? I'm going to what have I been up to? Hold on just there. I'm gonna get my book. Where is that book that we were talking about? Um Um it's in the living room. You know the book for the ship. I want to show you what I was reading. And, um, aha, I know what I'm going to talk about. Aha, hold on. Right, I'm going to sit in my favorite position. I like sitting. When I sit, I always sit facing the door. So, I'm going to talk about, so, your one and only Juliet Macapilla, African Wonder Woman. And I'm going to talk about, um, this is what I'm going to talk about today. I printed this specifically to take it to london as well so it says do you want to read this for people please help me read no come and read it come and read this let people just hear your voice right help me read this read this go placidly oh, hold on we'll start in a minute so where is your cup of tea i'm not having a cup of tea in that cup you know where you know the cup i love the one that uh where is the other one thank you very much thank you and my saucer mm -hmm. right this is what we're going to talk about and i'm going to get uh i'm gonna get him to read it um I read this or I saw it as well and thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, I'm going to be reading it. Just give me a few minutes. Let me cup of tea. And in the meantime, um, keep asking the question. Say Seth the way uh, Seth. Asante sana. Karibu sana. And uh, it's good to see you um, here. Right, computer. Hold on. Hey, my goodness me. Karibuni. Karibuni. Hang on. No, I'm not going to do that. Not yet. I don't know if that you can read this, but we're going to read it. And that's what I'm going to be speaking about this afternoon in a few minutes. I'm also going to be speaking about a book. Many thanks for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to get him to help me. Darrell, Darren, welcome. Thank you so much for following this journey for the last three days. Today is the third day. And um, uh, no. the book, bring me the book. The book that I wanted. You know the book? I want to share that story from the book. Thank you very much. Now, today, I'm going to be reading some lovely verses for you that sometimes I get on with. And I recommend, if you haven't got this book, to get that book. Boothism for Ship, illustrated by Chris Rindles. I repeat, I don't know if you can see that. Boothism for Ship. So I'm into all these... Um, terms with all persons exactly and clearly and listen to others even the dull and ignorant they too have their story avoid loud and aggressive persons they are vexations to the spirit 
If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Mm -hmm. Keep interested in your own career, mm -hmm. however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Mm -hmm. Exercise caution in your business affairs, mm -hmm. for the world is full of trickery. Mm -hmm. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Mm -hmm. Many persons strive for high ideals, mm -hmm. and everywhere life is full of heroism. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. especially. Be yourself. That's why I said I'll talk to you today. Be yourself. That's why I picked up this... Um, um, topic here. Yeah? So my topic here today is be yourself. Especially do not feign affection, mm -hmm. neither be cynical about love, mm -hmm. for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment it is perennial as the grass. Mm -hmm. Take... That's why I was showing you the grass. So I understand when I show you something there is a reason for it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Take kindly the counsel of the years gracefully surrendering surrendering the things of youth gracefully surrendering surrendering, surrendering yeah the things of youth mm -hmm. nurture strength of spirit nurture this, strength of spirit hear me out nurture spirit of str strength of strength, spirit of strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune mm -hmm. but do not stress yourself with Im imaging mm -hmm. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Mm -hmm. Beyond a wholesome discipline, mm -hmm. be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Everyone, thank you so much for that. You mm -hmm. are a child of the universe. You are the child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars. No less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. You have a right to be here, everyone. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is in, as unfolding as it should. Thank you. Therefore be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him to be, and whatever your labours and aspirations in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. Keep peace with your soul. With all its sham, drudgery and bo broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. It is still a beautiful world, everybody. Be careful mm -hmm. and strive to be happy. Be careful and strive to be happy. And this was written, <coughs> this was written in 1692, everyone. So I printed it specifically because I felt that I wanted to share that with you today. So um, thank you so much. I hope it um, picks something uh, with you today and uh, um, I'm absolutely delighted to be sharing that. So I've seen that and I thought, you know what, sharing and learning with one another. Now, I was just about before I leave, uh, if you would like, if you can, it's quite a simple book, but it's also very, I, I keep loads of books, so it's also another interesting book. And just forget maybe, so it's, it's just Buddhism for ships. And if you followed my story, Daryl will have seen the ships yesterday when I went there. And um, let's see. Okay, I've just picked randomly a page. And this is the page that my fingers have picked today. There are two ways of looking, a right way and a wrong way. So that's the message for today. There are two ways of looking, a right way and a wrong way. So, hmm, interesting. So, somebody says do another page. Right, I'm not too sure. First of all, what I really like about this book is, hold on, I'll show you, is where it brings in the... Okay, the content is um, living, <laughs> and I really, what attracted me to this book was when I saw Foolish Thinking, and I also like the bit about enlightenment, and also I love the 
reality. So, but you know, being a woman as well, I thought, oh, lady, um, I thought, hmm, foolish thinking. Let me think. Let me see this book. Am I? Am, you know, that's the first thing you pick, and then the second one was enlightenment. And I'm quite, I love, I love everything about enlightenment. And if you can see some of the things I talk about is, um, you know, what is an enlightenment and everything. So let's go to page. Um, okay, somebody says, what is foolish thinking? At <laughs> page 29, okay. Help me out here, page 29. Right. So I'm just sharing my Friday for those who are watching. Page 29, so... <laughs> I'll go for page. Uh, <laughs> mm, okay. Hold on. Foolish thinking. So it starts off with a ship. It's a book about ship. So. Uh -huh. Wolf. So yesterday I was um just. Aha! We'll go for this one. Page 30 shows that. And I'll just do one page. Page 31 says, Do not spread news if you are uncertain of its truth. So that's page 31. Sorry. Do not spread news if you are uncertain of its truth. And many a times people will always just see something and then they just start spreading. Um, so th this one's crying wolf. But really, it's the shepherd come to protect them. Uh -huh. So it's not a wolf at all. It's not the wolf coming to eat them. It's the shepherd coming to protect them. So you can see. So the shepherd is coming to protect... The flock of sheep. The flock of sheep. And this yeah? one mis misleadingly has cried wolf. Yes. But really, this what, it, what he thought was a, a wolf was a happy shepherd. You've heard it all. So yes, um, I just thought that's really, res you know, it's something to remind us all. Do not spread news if you're uncertain of its truth. Many, many thanks for watching that. So that's my message here today. Um, you've had two things. And if you'd like to see, somebody's asking me the book again. So the book is with illustration by Chris Riddle. Both of them for sheep. A very simple book but lovely messages in it. Um, and another good one, I love this one, is uh, confidence must be balanced with wisdom. Confidence must be balanced with wisdom. So that's a very good one. Uh, I love it. I always read it. And um, there you go. Right, that's my weekend done. Right, and... Uh, my warmy hat. Yesterday, people were happy to see me. Somebody said to me, oh, I've not seen you with a heart. So that's why sometimes it's warm. You see me. And, uh, yeah. Uh, another thing. Somebody's asking me questions. So just before that, let me bring on some people as well. Um, Eric Osha Omolo. I'm not very good with technology, as you can see. And as well, here, sometimes you lose internet, so I'm going to have to cut this one short. But later on, I'm going to... What am I doing this afternoon? Oh, this afternoon, I want to... You know, I enjoy modeling as well, so I want to continue with my lovely profile um, for those who are asking me what am I getting up to. And I want to just enjoy um, and sit next to the fireplace. That's it. Mm. So, questions, questions. Let me just quickly check the questions again. I'm trying to answer all of them, but you see I have to be careful because if I <coughs> do it so quickly, I would lose, I would lose some oh. of you. Uh, Sophia, uh, sorry, sent, no, don't send voice clip right now. I can't answer voice clips. How, um... So the other question is, um, somebody is asking me, how do you get a farmhouse? That's a big topic of another day. So um, I'll tell you another day. That's a long, long topic. Um, when we are doing, um, when I invite you to come here 
and uh, visit, then at that stage we can discuss things like that. So I'll pass on that, that question for now. Another person is asking me, um, do you miss to come to London? I'm always in London, so I'm between the two. I'm always in London, and uh, so I don't miss uh, um, London at all. But if you were to leave and your only home was um, in London, uh, in, in, in Country Farm, yes, then you, you would miss London, definitely. Another question coming in is, um, um, how do you get to the shops? Um, there is a nearby, um, it's not like London, the shops are everywhere, it's not like that. So the shops are, how many miles would you say? One mile away. One mile away, and that's the cooperative, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you've got a few, one or two shops, the cooperative, and, um, and also a lot of food is grown in, um, you can grow potatoes here, so it's not sufficient really if you're here. And but sometimes it can get too much, so you just quickly go and buy food in the cooperative. So it's about one mile, two miles away, and you just get what you want, and then you put it in the little fridge over there. You can't notice it's a fridge. Um, go in and open there. Let people see. Mm. So the normal fridge, but we to make it really cold, and it's such a little fridge. I don't have one of those big. It's just a little fridge, you can see here. Yeah. Right, my shoe. Uh huh. What else? Uh, farmhouse. It's interesting, very very interesting. But uh, all those questions about farmhouse can be answered when maybe around July, trying to get a date for July, if it's possible. I can't promise anything for now, working on that yet. So July, if you see, I've asked you to come. Um, the thing is, um, can't camp at the moment. It has to be next year for camping. Um, used up all the um, holidays you're allowed by the council. You're, you're only allowed 28 days for people to camp. So that's the sad bit. It's the law in this country. It's just 28 days you're allowed for people to camp. And once you've used up your 28 days for people to come in yeah. and... Uh, so if you've got weddings, you can imagine weddings pay um, to come in. And uh, so th that's the priority because then they're paying. But if it's just for friendly and whatever, yeah. So can't camp. You can come and visit. Like let's say just come and visit. And then people can stay in a hotel around nearby. And we can have a visit for two a day, uh, for two day. And um, sorry, so if people came in, if we decided the tour holiday would happen on the Saturday, so pulling in a deal with um, the nearby hotels would be something suitable. So I'm looking into that, and perhaps that could work. And thank you for that question again. Um, but anyway, the question is, how much would be would people be prepared? to pay um so to come in because you can see that it's not that um straightforward um to come in so you're only allowed 28 days um uh, yeah so how much would people be prepared to come and enjoy country farming if you see what i mean uh, let me know give me your answers there what do you think what's your suggestion love company uh, and just to break even because to get somebody to take you around to see the whole place costs money. I couldn't be able to do that myself. I'm a good talker, but to really get it into details and to really get um, them explaining the right stuff and the correct stuff as an education program, in that sense, I would need, we would need to pay that person. So you can see my dilemma sometime. So um, in that sense... Um, and um, I was looking into that and and um, it's, it's thinking about the package, really. Thank you for that question. Thank you. Somebody else is asking me. Um, so please, please, please. Um, camping, I've answered that. Camping is a good idea, but camping is not until next year. So camping is next year. But just coming in for a visit, you can pop in any time once we've agreed but a, a group 
it's a group visit we would want it's a group visit aha uh -huh. somebody wants another page so another page i've picked is train your mind it sees the source of everything did you hear that train your mind it is the source of everything i love that okay the other question aha uh -huh. this is another one he likes this one and i love it so those who do not know the true path to enlightenment may experience mental delusion princess you would resonate with that those who do not follow the true path to enlightenment may experience mental dissolution. Interesting. So you can see these things have been written. And this is also a very good one as well. Special lamb chops. And he says it is necessary to gain the insight that life is impermanent. Hmm. And another one is with a clear gaze reflects serenity on reality this is a book about ships so every time it, it had to be ships because in a farm you've got uh, ships in it <laughs> is that the case eh? and um, yes somebody is saying to me if they can come and eat meat um or soya yes but in okay this is interesting now it's not like in kenya this question is coming from kenya um there's a special place you have to go and um um cut <laughs> abattoir. Ab how, do, how do i pronounce that abattoir. Abattoir. there's a special place so again it's not that straightforward but yes we eat a lot of um and um, if you love goat there's a oh this is an interesting story let me tell you about this story now English people don't like goats, and the reason behind. Can you tell the story behind the goats? Let Cause, people. Cause they is it okay if I video you telling that story? No, Please. No. You just want they, to... they jump... Okay, start, start, start your story again. Mm. So what did you tell me? English okay. or British farmers don't like goats because they jump over the fence and go and eat the neighbour's roses and get themselves into trouble. So English farmers don't like goats; they prefer sheep. So you can hear that. So if you want to eat any goat here, we've got all the goats for 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 some of us who love goat meat. So all the Jamaicans in um, around here, they love coming and getting all the goats because um, they can cook the goats and uh, they have goat curries. English farmers don't eat goats, so you can see why. And the reason behind that, I laughed. I laughed my head off when they told me why they don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need goats or they don't like goats and the reason and what do you use goat for you know is it gum you say to me gum <laughs> you make they make glue out of <laughs> they make glue is it glue <laughs> yeah you make glue out of goats <laughs> of the delicacies yes yeah, so the delicacies is uh glue and i was absolutely fascinated with that story i was like what <laughs> so you can see cultural shock i could say cultural shock i was like eh? what are you talking about we love goats we love lamb we love whatever so um, they love even even when the lamb is really like old um like mature they don't enjoy that it, the lambs got to be like how many months old or something like that 12 weeks 12 old. weeks old and as soon as it's really maturing it becomes tough and all that so he's a junior all the way from Kenya, many thanks for that. Um, and yes, and uh, of course, beautiful Mkemtelim, uh, Princess Odugwa, my lovely um, youth as well, and um, lady who did fashion and beauty pageant, we welcome you this afternoon. So yeah, so that story behind God is very intriguing. And how many times do we always not wish to... It's, it, as I said, it's very important to sit with someone and always be engaging with them and ourselves and learn from English people and they also learn about our culture. <coughs> interesting stories. And it's been a very interesting journey for me personally. So that answers the question for that. Um... Chris um, is very interested uh, with um, uh, technology. And, um, Professor Chris, um, his child, um, a wonderful genius, um, 
uh, founded, um, it, you know, talks about learning as well. Um, and very, very interesting. He's particularly interested in technology. Um, and um, always is um, saying to me, uh, oh, very impressive, actually. We met again last week. Uh, was it last? Not last week. This week or just beginning of it. We were in uh, last week. Yes, we inspire. We were there and being inspired by um, a program led by Bradley Chapman. So it's always good to be inspired and looking for programs that really, really help you uh, and enable you to have growth. So if you've got people around you who are not really giving you growth, think again. So uh, associate yourself with people who are really allowing you to grow, to grow in your life, as the little book um, for ships would say. Uh, that is a question I've answered. I think I've answered all the questions here today. And from me to you, have a wonderful Friday. Just making sure I've answered everyone's question. And on top of that, thank you to everyone who's turned up as well. We've got people watching from Nigeria, Kenya, and of course, London. We've also got somebody from Reading. We've got somebody from Coventry. And we've got... Um, and some of you, uh, we've got somebody from Milton Keynes. We've got somebody from, oh, different places. I'm always delighted. Uh, and that's my happy, happy, happy Friday, everyone. I'm going to go and uh, say one more question. Okay. I've done it all. Um, hold on there. Let me bring something. Just hold me. You know, in, my, in, my, in the bedroom... There is that long thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the long, um, what do you call it? That long thing next to my, the long, uh, I, I can't remember what you call it. Um, but I'm bring just before I go, hold on. I'm bringing you something which is really in the bedroom. <laughs> and I'm going to get you to have a wonderful, <laughs> I can't play it, but it's in the bedroom somewhere. Um. <laughs> you don't mind holding it there please hold it it doesn't mm. <laughs> look at this what we call this i can't remember hey, koyabe remind me what we call this <laughs> in english <laughs> i can't can you blow it eh? i like it i love it <laughs> You know, in Africa, this is played. Somebody can play this. Eh? <laughs> and the drum. Where is the drum? Where is the drum now? Here, let's put the drum here. Uh -huh. Where is the drum? Yes. Now you understand. Uh -huh. Now I feel happy, happy here. On the table here. That is it now. <laughs> so now... I feel happy I've shown you that. I'm very happy, Bunny. And the African lovely. There you are. That's what I've been up to this afternoon. Oh. Uh -huh. If you've got any African instruments, when we meet up um, in. Um, Hopefully July, I would love you to bring your instruments and I'm um, hoping that um, in one corner we can play all this instrument. It would be nice to just watch people um, enjoying and having fun. So it's got to be summer. It's quite cold right now. So today, uh, as for me, my house and love from every single person here and mrs bedford and dickens and every single person david many thanks joffrey Django is a good afternoon and good evening and enjoy yourself and remember live for the universe we found the universe here and as we walk the journey we are all blessed let us learn to have abundance let us love to have gratitudes in our hearts and let us live for the moment and enjoy yourselves until then, until tomorrow. 
speak some. It's a goodbye from me, African Wonder Woman. Many thanks again, Daryl. You've joined me the last three days. I appreciate you for joining in. Bye-bye for now.